GoPro reported better than expected quarterly profits and sales driven by strong demand for its wearable action cameras. With us now to talk about that is CNET senior editor Bridget Carey. And Bridget, this is an amazing company, an amazing stock, one that's just become public recently. Do you see that GoPro can keep up this winning streak and have a big holiday season? That's what a lot of investors and consumers are expecting. I think action cameras are going to be really big this holiday season, especially GoPro. It's the apple of all action cameras. I mean, it's becoming a household name when you think of one. And they've also come out with new models, cheaper models, ones that start at $130. So it's getting even easier now to get into this market of having a camera that you can attach to something, have a little fun with, and it's easy to upload it on YouTube. Now, now, now GoPro is typically geared towards these athlete types, right, the, the, the action folks. There seems to be a lot more widespread demand for them now. Can you tell us where that demand is actually coming from if it's not from skateboarders and surfers and mountain climbers? Well, it all started with people you know, attaching them to their surfboards and whatnot, you know, and people watching on YouTube going, wow, that's really interesting. What can I do? You're starting to see people use their GoPros, perhaps attaching them to their dogs. There's a new accessory where you can have a dog harness and see the point of view of your pooch. Uh, but people are kind of experimenting in new ways, putting them on their bicycles, um, it's just using them on their helmets for whatever it is, even if it isn't extreme action sports. And it's starting to not seem so scary to jump into it. And other competitors in the space are jumping in. You have Polaroid making a cube that you can attach to different objects. It's not for extreme sports, but they're going after the more casual consumer that maybe wants to experiment with, with this stuff on YouTube. And you're seeing also other competitors, Kodak just made an action camera that they're selling this holiday. And HTC has a different spin on their uh, point of view camera. So it's something you would just hold in your hand and point and shoot, kind of like the old flip cams that we used to see. So more people are getting into just taking video differently because they want to do something different than you can do with your smartphone. All right, so, so Bridget, that's interesting that you bring that up because you talk about the flip cam. I had one of those things back in the day, and we all know what happened to Flipcam. They don't exist anymore. So when we talk about those competitors, you talked about HTC, you talked about Polaroid and Kodak. How does this product stack up against those guys? And do you see that competitive pressures could maybe make GoPro a little less attractive in the coming months and years? Well, how it stacks up, it's the best quality one out there. They even have one that is now at 4K video. It's great with stabilization. People put them on their drones. When you want a high quality one, you're going with GoPro. There's no question about it. But I think there was something different this time around than there was going on when the flip cam came out. And that's people aren't going to buy a normal camera anymore. When you're on the holiday shopping mall and you're walking around trying to figure out what to buy, why would you buy a regular camera when you already are using your smartphone for that? So people want to have fun with technology. They're going with these action cameras and maybe they're not going to go with the GoPro if they're not someone in extreme sports or professional uh, photography, but they would look at other competing products that maybe are a little cheaper if they want to just have some fun and put things on YouTube from different perspectives. Well, that's a big point as well. Of, of course, the company did say that it wants to be much more of a branded content provider, mm -hmm. not just a hardware provider. Well, thank you so much for joining us. That's Bridget Carey, the senior editor over at CNET. And thanks for watching TechBed. I'm Dominic Chu. Until next time, have a great day.